People will do anything for it right now. This late in the expansion. Alright, let's see how we're going to fare against a rogue. If I can find another Librum discount, then this Penflinger can really go to town. But we'll see. Ah, oh, change. I mean, if you don't have fun playing Hearthstone, then when, why would you play Hearthstone? It's all about that fun. There could be saps and stuff in the rogue deck. Evil things. I suppose I will risk one Liberum of Wisdom anyway. I mean, if you really want to sap this, then go ahead. I quite like it. Could be Vendetta, of course, or something. Going to eviscerate that? Seriously? That is so... surprising. I am perplexed. Well... I guess I'll give it that one buff. So it's a Galagron Rogue. Alright. Haven't seen many of those around. But it has some some sweet qualities, of course. Like lots of resource generation. I <laughs> like having fun playing as Mage and Priest. Yes, that is one of the best ways of having fun, isn't it? Would I drop in a barrow here? I mean, I could. That's a decent way to kill off the Edwin. That's the only way to kill off the Edwin, other than using the Librum of Justice. Arrow is fine. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Hey, loser. This Hey Loser thing is... I don't even know. I don't even know what it is, really. I could play first day of school here. Leave, leave that out there to die. Why not? It seems fine. Eight cards in hand. Alright, we can do that. Alright, well I managed to kill the Edwin. And Edwin was annoying. So it's good that the Edwin is dead. But there's of course a lot, lot left for that rogue. Rogue in general is fairly good against Paladin. We'll see later on just how good. Do we have two friendly characters? Oh no, Dragon discovers spell. I mean, you either hit the one one to the face and trade, or I don't know what you, what you would do otherwise. They're not going to sap the barrow. They're not going to shadow step one of these minions. Okay, well that could trade in the barrel I guess that, that's a thing. Not a bad move. Not a bad move at all. I really wouldn't want to spend a Librum just to kill some faceless corruptors. That seems rather excessive. I do kind of want to sell head sprite out there. Hit cards in hand, so this will overdraw. Need to play some other stuff too. I guess I just may need to play the one drops here. Go to six cards in hand. I believe this is acceptable. Just putting in some more bodies on the board. So that'll give me a loot hoarder, spend finger, maybe the broomstick. I would like to have the broomstick, really. Because broomstick would then allow me to easily kill this. But I mean, if I don't find the broomstick, then I guess I'll, I'll do without. I may need to actually use the Liberum. If there's like... 
like that, for example, now. That was a really good one, though, because now the one one's going to be traded away. And that was very strong. There is the broomstick. Oh, boy. But I just have to kill these, right? I'm afraid I just have to kill them. Not broomstick yet. I'm always going to chance the broomstick next turn. Just kill them. Get the Ben Flingers back into hand. Alright, so now I've survived the Edwin and I survived the questing. Whew, this rogue has had some serious resources. The burn folk that I cannot use quite yet, but in a little while. Eight cards in hand. That's fine, isn't it? I can even drop a couple of hay losers here. Well, one at least. Seven, eight cards. Yeah, that's so nine cards. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. We'll go to ten cards in hand if both of these are killed. We'll see in the near future. I'm down to eighteen health, but I do have one Librum now. So that will guarantee the Kronk Straw, right? I believe so. What else does the Rogue have? The Rogue now has something good, then. We'll see how it goes. Drawing away an Eviscerate like that. That was a surprise, I have to say. Oh, hand is full now. One less for each spell you've cast on a friendly characters this game. I don't have to heal yet this turn. So pen fling pen fling. This one will rush into that one, right? So flinger over there. And another flinger over there. And then play this for mana, yeah. And play the loot hoarder. And then play the Libram. The loot hoarder. And then play the Q pill and the broomstick. And then trade. And leave as many minions on the board as possible. I mean, sure, you can play Kronks for AoE. But I, won't, I wouldn't mind. I have the Libram and the Broomstick, so I could kill the Kronks. Oh, Kronks is already in hand. Okay. But Kronks for the AoE is something I really don't mind. We'll see. There's still a bunch of lackeys coming, of course. Yeah, Tokwagel can be coming, of course. This is the other broomstick, isn't it? I believe it is, yeah. Alright, we killed the Kronks, so... I think I also hit face. Some cards in hand. Alright, so no infinite Kronks is, but infinite Togwaggles is still an option. Typically they, they don't run those cards in the deck, though they would have to discover them. But it is possible that they get to discover 
the scheme. Clicking that is just completely irrelevant. But this, if if there's the scheme, if scheme can be discovered, and then Togwaggle with the scheme and endless crowns, some ones and crowns, then that can be a major problem. Ah, the Truth Seeker, that's nice. Finally getting the Librams to zero cost. Alright, then we're just going to pen fling that one away. Librum here. Hey, losering. The other Librum goes there, right? Sap is unlikely, but I suppose it's possible still. And then we hey loser that one. And first day of school to save the penflinger. That one goes face. Sap is unlikely, and now that the cards are being drawn in this order, then Sap is not, not something that's going to be drawn soon. But Togwaggle is in hand. And if the, if the proper discovers, anything can happen. Alright, here comes the Heist Baron. So no Togwaggle scheme, that is such a piece of good news. Because even if there's a couple of big minions here, then that just won't matter too much. Now this is no big deal. Alright, so I need to do some hay losering again. So start by hay losering there. And hay losering there. And then we do a Liberum of Justice. Which then again allows me to use this one to trade away that one. And I can use my face to trade away. I can use my face to trade away that one actually. So then I can pin fling there. And I can pin fling there. And then I can play the Murger. And Hero Power. I can get the slipper and the hero power minion. And I can just hit into that one. So this allows me to handle that board. And now, obviously the rogue still has... There's a discovered dragon in hand. There's a discovered legendary minion in hand. Rogue still has some tools left. But no infinite dog waggles, no infinite cronksies. Those have been secured now. And I mean, there's so much hay losering going around here. It's really insane. The level of that hay losering is just immense. Or I could just take this. Is this a minion that I want to take? There might be something even bigger coming. I can handle this. Just hay losering it. I think I want a lap partner out there. 
And I'll leave the lap partner. More Halo Ring is about to happen. Do I use Murger's Divine Shield? Yeah, I might. I don't want to take five here. And just more hay losering. Bit of hero powering. Bit of molly brumming. I mean, what's not to like with an imprisoned gang arc over there? Like this. Alright. DQ Alex Zephyrus. What? I mean, this is not a Highlander deck. There is no Dragon Queen, Alex Traza, or Zephyrus in that deck. It's just about what can be discovered, because there's tons of lackeys. So, stuff is being discovered right now. Crazy amounts of stuff is being discovered. That is a reasonably scary minion, isn't it? It is indeed. Probably need to kill it. It goes over there. Then it's going to be... Hey, loser. And hey, loser. And then we'll do a Libra of Wisdom here. This will take take a while, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's just the way it goes. Just have to kill that one. This one probably has to hit into that one, right? I think that's the way I need to use these cards now. That one probably is going over there. And I'll do a Libra over there. Let me just hit into one of these. I don't actually want to do the other Librum. There's a chance that I might lose them. Simon, 20 hours, no drops yet. Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that. I have an insane amount of Librums coming from the Liadrin as well. I saw the Rogue spend both Eviscerates. But these Discovers, the value engine that is Galagrond, is at full speed. And random stuff. Rogue is like the weakest of the random, the the cheap imitator of the random stuff things. They have the weakest random stuff. Other, everyone else has better random stuff. But that doesn't mean that Rogue doesn't have some good random stuff anyway. Weapon. Okay. Don't want to hit into that one. Pew 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 pew. I suppose I do, yeah. Let's just kill it with the weapon. Then the hay losering begins. One Libram over there. And then more Hay Losering. I would want to find the Libram of Hope, I think. I do Hand of a Dial on this one. More hay losering. And one more Libram over there. Something like this. Alright. What drops can you get? You can get early access to Hearthstone Duels, the new game mode. There are 500 of those being raffled out per hour over the Twitch category. 
So Rogue has one shadow step left, although it is at the bottom of the deck. Do they have a demon in hand? How do they have a demon in hand? What is the demon? I'm a little bit perplexed. Seven, ten, eleven, twelve. That's probably lethal, right? That's lethal most of the time, at least. Let me see. In case I counted wrong, but I think I didn't. I did count it wrong. Oh, I did count it wrong. I thought that was lethal. Sorry about that. Hmm. Oh well. It should still be fine much of the time. We'll see. I mean, the rogue still has to heal. They have to heal a fair bit. Rogue is able to heal. By turning themselves into Lord Charaxus. So there's another Lord Charaxus in the rogue's hand. Okay. That happened. My hand is full. Well. Then I need to deal a fair bit of damage. I do want to heal up. A bit more hay loser in here. And use one Librum over there. I don't want to spend the other Librams. We'll see. First time catching a stream. Well, welcome, welcome. So now the rogue has another Jaraxus in hand. Rogue also manages to pick up a 7-cost rush minion, randomly generated from the 2-cost hero power. Which means that the rogue could, in theory, manage to kill my 8-8. That's awkward. Hmm. If the rogue can find something like a sap... Prey Skelagrond. So Rogue was able to randomly generate a rush minion to save themselves. That's not the funniest thing I've ever seen. But we'll see. Very well, very well. I've only one pen finger left, so it's a lot of work to kill all of the stuff. 
I mean, I could hit face, but I know there's another Jaraxxus left. So hitting face isn't very effective. Do I want to draw? Are we going to fatigue? We might be going to fatigue. Maybe I don't want to draw. Do I want to Truth Seeker out there? I might. I think I'm going to do it like this here. Leaves the rope with the two tree on the board. I have one Librum of Hope left in the deck. I have a Mergoko Prime. I have the Silas left. Oh, now Rogue generates two Reborn minions. Thoughts on becoming a Yogur? No, no thoughts about that really. No, none. Two Reborns. Well, the Rogue finally died. That took ages. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.